Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to sort by calculated fields in Tableau. So this is really cool if you have a calculated field or if you have some type of measure that you do want to be able to sort by in the future, but obviously you can't sort by it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's dive right in. So here we're going to pull in our regions and you can see we have a uh, set of about six regions here. And I'm going to bring in the year. What I'm going to do is just bring in the year. I'm going to make it discrete just so I just get one year. I don't want all the individual dates. It can, uh, you know, sum everything up. And what we're going to look at today is energy usage. So we're going to look at this one right here. We're going to make a bar chart out of this. So as you can see, when we bring it in, it makes it this little quirky line chart, which is not really helpful, but Tableau tries its best. So we're going to switch this over to a bar chart. So as you can see, everything's in order from 2008 down to 2020. And the 2020 data obviously is not over yet as of filming this. So we kind of have partial data in here for 2020. So it's pretty much lower than the rest of them. But if we look at the Americas, you can see that the numbers kind of go down and then they come up and they go down again, they come back up. And so we have this fluctuating pattern in there. What we want to do is actually want to be able to sort by this. So I want the highest uh, energy use up top and then the you know smallest one down at the bottom. I don't care what date it is, but I want it sorted by region. And so if I right click here, I want to go to sort. But as you can see, I don't have a sort option. So that's what is going to be the point of actually creating a calculated field. So if I go here, I can obviously do a sort, but I don't want to sort the year. I want the years to kind of just go in whatever order based on that calculation, you know, whatever this is, the energy usage. And I don't want to sort the region. So that's why that's not going to work. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a parameter so we can tell it what we want to sort by. So I'm going to go right here and we're going to create a parameter. And we'll just call this parameter sort by for this tutorial. And this is going to be an integer and it's going to be a list of values. So we're going to have two values. It's either going to be ascending or descending. That's pretty much the only options unless you want to create some other type of you know ranking system or something. You can also make that available. But I want the user to be able to choose whether they want to go ascending or descending based on that. So the value is going to be negative one. And oops, let's go down here and one. And I'll explain this in a moment. Let me put this in there. So this is going to be descending. And this will be ascending. So the cool, the reason why we're adding these here is because these are the actual values that we're going to be using for the calculation for the calculated fill. But this right here is what the user is actually going to see. So this helps the user uh, decide whether they want descending or ascending or whatever it may be. So that's why I put that in there. So we have this here and this right here, what it's going to do is just, I'm going to take it and I'm going to create a new calculated fill, which is the whole point of this where it multiplies it by either negative one or positive one. So obviously positive one, we'll just leave it as is. So whatever this value is right here, it'll just leave it at that and it'll sort it based on that value. If not, it's going to inverse everything. So it's going to give it the negative value. And I'll show you this in a second. So we have this right here. So what I'm going to do is go here and I'm going to find the energy usage. And I'm just going to create a new calculated field using that same parameter. And we'll call this energy usage sort cool so we have that in there and what i want to do is bring in that parameter that we just created and i'm going to have i want to multiply by it so we're going to say sort by and then we'll multiply it by there so cool i'm going to go ahead and hit apply and you can see now it's right over here Okay, so now we have the energy usage sort here. So we're going to drag this right in the view and watch. It's going to do something really quirky. So this looks really weird and we don't know what's going on. Like the numbers just don't do anything. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. All you have to do is right click and turn this over to discrete. And so what it does is it turns it back into these discrete numbers. So whatever value you see here is the same value that you see there. And let me just scroll back up to the top. So um, here in Africa, you know, it was 447, 447, super, you know, it's the same thing that you see there. And what I'm going to do is just move this over real quick. So now it's sorted like that. So right now we have it set to ascending. And so Africa didn't have any 2020 data, but we see we have numbers here. So these are all ascending. This is the lowest in 2020, 2028. And now when we hit descending, we have it where it inverses the numbers. And now the big numbers are at the top and it just kind of flows that way. Now, I know it's kind of quirky. We have this number in here. So all we're going to do is right click and we're going to say hide the header. There we go. 
cool and now we have exactly what we want and let me actually filter this so uh, to make it easier let's just take a look at uh, the americas and let's take out all of these and let's just look at actually europe so we'll hit apply and so now we're just looking at these two so as you can see everything kind of goes descending starts at 2014 instead of um 2008 which 2008 is right here and then 2020 was the lowest so this one kind of floats back and forth and same thing with the Americas starts at 2015. So now I can see that, you know, 2015 and 2014 were the highest consumption rates of energy usage for these individual companies, our countries, my fault. And we can kind of compare them if we want, year over year, whatever it may be. But now we have the ability to sort between those um, by using a calculated field. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I do hope you watch one of our other videos that we'll have popping up in the card there. And stay tuned. We'll see you again.